Scene one, Apple, take two. Welcome to the Did You Know Show. And episode today, sorry. episode two. Yeah. Okay, today we will we'll, um, we will be um, talking about uh, how bad electronics can be. And um, I know it's going to be, some people are not going to like us for saying this. I like electronics, but sometimes they can be too much. But Get in the way of yeah. everyday life. Yeah, and we'll also be talking about the famous movie and story about Aaron Ralston called 127 Hours. And we'll be talking about the new Freddy and the new Nightmare on Elm Street 2010. So, do you want to start with the... Uh, I'll start with 127 Hours. Yeah, because that's the okay, main well, topic. The, uh, Aaron Ralston is a guy. Uh, he really enjoyed outdoor stuff. Yeah. Um, and in 2003, he was paying a visit to Blue John Canyon. Uh, and he was trying to uh, use a rock to help him down into the canyon. And the rock slipped out of place and he fell and he got his uh, right arm crushed. And uh, this book is about uh, him, sur uh, him surviving. Uh, and he ended up, you know, amputating his own arm with a pocket knife. Uh, yeah, like, and it was a really dull knife. Well, like, and there's a picture of it in here. Uh, let me get to it. it. I mean, because since he was... Uh, he was chipping away at the rock, and just a spoiler alert here for the movie. He was chipping away at the rock with the uh, with the knife. It was so dull from him chipping away. So it, it was duller than it was before. And we all know how dull those knives can be. You know, unless you just have a, a knife by itself, it's it not be as good. So this book uh, tells about uh, he, he was there for six days, wasn't he? Yeah, six days. One hundred twenty-seven hours. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and that's what's the mission. Six days, um, he was trapped. Uh, he had limited, he had two, like, f uh, microwavable burritos. Uh, he had, uh, how many ounces of water? 40 milliliters. 40 milliliters. Eight ounces, I think. Which, which isn't a lot at all. Eight yeah. ounces is not. It's like three fourths. Eight, eight ounces is yeah. like half of a can. Yeah, and this is a very good book. I mean, I've, I've gotten, I'm not finished with it yet, but I've gotten at least more than halfway. And he describes every single excruciating detail because he's the one who wrote it. And it, the original book is called Between a Rock and a Hard Place. And but since the movie came out, they came out with this um, non-hardback, paperback, uh, 127 hours movie version thing. But it's still the original story that he wrote, just with the James Franco on the cover. And it includes uh, the actual photos. Yeah, of him. you know of himself. Yeah, which I just showed you, because he, he had his digital camera with him. Yes, uh, and he has uh, made he recorded himself throughout the process. Yeah, and there's footage on YouTube of it, and in, in the documentary of uh, Blue John King. So it's a very inspirational story. He yeah, he went through a lot. I mean, he really did. I I love the movie. He hasn't seen it yet, but I've told him all about it. He's looked at movie, like clips on YouTube and stuff, but. It's a really good movie. I recommend it to anyone. But, it, you know, it's not really for squeamish people. Like, the amputation scene is like 20 minutes long. And I kid you not, audiences, people in the audience fainted. I'm sure you've heard this before, but people literally fainted. And the people movie. got up and left. Yeah, they got up and left. And, and you know, we want to describe the amputation here. Um, he took his short two-inch blade since the dull one was too dull because he was chipping with the rock and he stuck it in his arm and he just started cutting at the skin and with the dull knife he couldn't even draw blood from the skin so he had to use a short knife anyways he came to this nerve you know which is the main nerve to your nervous system that's your pain that makes it cause you to feel pain he said every time he touched it it would run the pain would just run up all over on his shoulder almost to his neck and you know, you can imagine how painful it was. It's like hitting your funny bone, but it's like ten times yeah. as worse. And he had to plug that thing up with the pliers or the knife or something. And in the movie, they added a... Um, every time he touched the nerve, the nerve scene, he would... They had an electric guitar, like, roaring. And that's what really made it, like, so much more really good. And there's real doctors and real surgeons there 
helping uh, the director and everything with each every single moment, making it as realistic as possible. Yeah. So it's a very very good movie. Very good movie. Yes. Very uh, inspirational story, and you know, and he's alive today. He he has a, uh, a prosthesis. Yeah. And he still he still goes on his you know hikes yeah. and stuff. Yeah, journeys. Um, he even made, since he's an engineer. He uh, made his own ice pick arms. Well, I think he made it. I don't know. He probably did. He could have bought it. I appreciate it. What's the next topic? Um, well, there's a few more things on it. Um, it was the actor who played Aaron Ralston in Washington Ten Hours was uh, James Franco. You may know him in uh, Spider-Man series as uh, Norman, uh, Harry Osborn and play also played New Goblin. He played in several other movies as well. Yeah, he really did a good job. And I think he won an award for it. If not, he should have. Because Danny Boyle was a director, too. And he was he's a really good director. Director of Slumdog Millionaire. But yeah, it's a really good story. It's a really good movie. You should see it. Read the book. Yeah. If you want the details, read the book. If you just want a summary, watch the movie. Yeah. So, next time.